to the channel. Now, today I have a really cool turnaround story from a coach that I started working with in January of 2023. And what I shared today, I think is going to be really helpful for you, no matter what stage of business that you're in. Um, if you don't have as many clients as what I described here on this video, that's okay. Um, it's going to be better to correct some of the problems before you get to a hundred or more clients. Um, but essentially what we did is we, we spotted uh, right around $100,000 of lost income per year for this specific trainer that we're working with. Um, and I'm going to show you how we spotted it. And I'm going to show you how we fixed the problem. This video right here honestly could be worth over 100K to your business. So it's best to take out a pen, get a little notepad out, and see if what we talk about relates to your business. Because if it does, we need to make some quick changes. Otherwise, you're going to be someone who's losing a lot of money that you shouldn't be losing. All right. So we're going to get straight into this. Now, let me break down the situation here. So the situation, it was at the end of the day, like pretty common for a lot of the coaches that I deal with. So this coach had a hundred clients in his database. And when I put those in quotes, that means like, yes, he had clients. Not everyone was committed. Um, some of those people would, would never come every single month. Um, some would be there every week. Uh, all of his clients that were coming every week were coming one time per week on average. All right. Um, the business has been pretty much stale the last two years. Like the problems that he was experiencing in January, he'd been experiencing that for the last two years. So this situation was actually a lot more costly than 100K. It was about 200K. Um, but his business hasn't really changed. He hasn't really made any changes up until the time me and him start working together. Um, in the past, like the summers were huge for his business. Obviously, like summers are pretty big for a lot of coaches uh, because kids have more time, parents have more time, they can commit to more things. Uh, but his fall and the rest of the year was very up and down. It was like a roller coaster. It was really stressful. Um, never really had a good base of income coming in per month. Um, and that kind of leads to the next thing. Like all of his clients could pay on Venmo, Cash App, Cash, Check, PayPal, and Stripe. I mean, there was like a million different ways people could pay. There wasn't one organized way of getting money. So with that, like, Anytime a coach gets to me with something like that, I already know they're losing money and they're typically losing at, at minimum, like on average, probably 2K per month easily. Um, no matter how big or small the business is, I mean, the bigger it is, the more money is, you're losing every month. Uh, but that was a big problem for him because like I asked him, hey, how much money did you make last month? And it took him like half an hour to get back to me. A coach that's organized, when I ask that question, they can just go click and show me in two seconds, here's how much money I made last month. All right. So that was a big problem that he was dealing with, especially working with like a lot of people, 100 people trying to get payments from 10 different places. Very tricky to track. Um, like I said, his clients were all paying per session. Um, he wasn't running a membership style business. So anytime his clients would show up, they would pay. Sometimes his clients would say they're going to be there and not show up. And then he just lost 40 bucks. Right. And that was like a big problem that he was dealing with. Um, most coaches that I talk to deal with that problem. All right. So the average client, if they showed up every week, they'd be paying 160 bucks because you take $40 per session times four sessions per month, 160 bucks. That's if they showed up to every session. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I talked with him initially was he didn't track who was coming in to all of us sessions. So it was very random. Some people would come once a week. Some people would never come at all. Um, but I looked at basically just his finances and I'll talk about that here in this, on the, on the next page of what that looked like. Um, the other thing was like the clients would schedule the sessions through an online booking app to reserve the session. So I put that in asterisk because some people would do that. Some people would just show up. All right. So it was this huge problem with communication between the clients and him um, and people that didn't like go through the, the booking system. Um, a big problem was like someone could just join the program really and, and come and train whenever. And he wouldn't know that they're going to be there. 
All right, and that's a problem when you try to organize a session is you want to know who's going to be there. Um, and then the other problem is like the parents that thought that that was the only way to book, uh, if they stopped booking there, then they would stop coming. All right, so that was a, kind of a really messy situation because like some people were doing it, some weren't, and it was just to book the session. They were not paying for the session, all right? It was just to schedule it. Uh, but again, there, there'd be times where there'd be too many kids at one class. There'd be times where like there'd be one person there um, and that person didn't even sign up online. So it was like a really big nightmare that we had to just get rid of. All right. Uh, next, there was no contract in place between the clients and the coach. 95% of coaches that are in this industry don't have a contract. Um, a waiver is not a contract. Uh, a contract is a contract that basically states your expectations uh, parents' expectations, player expectations, all of the rules with your payments. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. If you want more details on that, send me a text at the number that I have there, and I can tell you more about how you can utilize what we have. All right. Uh, next was he was a solo, purely solo business. So uh, he was dealing with the text between the clients. He was dealing with the payments. He was dealing with the website. He was dealing with all of the sessions that he was running. Um, so no one was helping him do anything. It was just purely him, which that is not a problem. It is a problem if you're disorganized. So if you're organized, I know some coaches right now that are dealing with 150 plus clients by themselves. It's absolutely doable, especially if you run things in group training and you do a lot of the stuff we talk about on the next page. All right. And the last one, this one was... Like it, it, I could tell it really irritated him. Um, and when I heard him say it, I was like, wow, okay. Like we, we got to switch this. Um, but basically what was happening was he had to pay per hour for rent. And he basically just had to like per month, he'd have to give uh, the facility that he was using X amount of dollars. Uh, and from there, he'd have X amount of hours to, to operate his sessions. And the problem was he had too much availability. And because there's too much availability, there weren't enough clients to fill in and maximize those spots. And what I did, like this took us like a day to figure out, but what I do is I figured out, okay, well, all the sessions that you're running, how many of these sessions have like two or less kids? And we figured that out. And then we, we also looked at, well, how many of these sessions is, is nobody showing up to? Because every time he's booking the gym and no one's showing up, he's losing money, right? And every time you're booking the gym and you're breaking even, well, it's like, why would we do that? Let's just not do that at all. So what we found was we found about $1,500. Some months were more than that, but $1,500 on average per month that he was losing just paying the facility with unused sessions or the, or the sessions weren't full. And that right there, show you on this next page, uh, that results in 18K per year, all right? Now, for some people, $18,000, like, I know some coaches that make like three or 400K per year. If they're wasting 18K on something like that, like, it's not gonna, like, it's gonna affect them, but they're not gonna really care that much as opposed to someone who's making way less. <laughs> All right. So this coach wasn't making that much. Um, and so when we identified that, I was like, hey, like, let's put $18,000 back in your pocket. So this way, like, instead of this being a loss, like, you're not having to pay way more than what you need. So what we did, um, and I'll tell you on the next page exactly what we did, but that was just like, just from the wasted money on rent, it's 18K. All right. And what we did is we figured out too, 40% of his clients, we're not showing up month over month. So 40% of 100 was 40 people. And we realized, well, if they were committed, they would be paying $160 per month, which is $6,400 per month of lost income, which is $76,800 per year of income that he's not getting that he could get, all right? That's if he had them committed. And I always tell this to coaches, and I say this to you if you're watching this video, if you have someone that's a client, that means they should be paying. That does not mean that they can come in, come out whenever they want, drift and, and just be drifters. We want them to be committed. 
And if they're not committed, they're not a client. All right. And I, I, I want that to be really clear with you if you're watching. No one is a client unless they are actively paying you monthly or annually, stuff like that, where they, they have a real commitment. All right. So we calculated uh, total business loss per month of 6,400 because that's the 40% that's, that weren't doing anything. Uh, they weren't on memberships. Um, and then the 1500 per month because of the wasted rent money. So that's $7,900 per month. Now, honestly, that number is kind of low. Like it, it could have been a lot higher. Um, in some months they were higher, but I kind of averaged it out over the course of the year. Um, so the total business loss per year is $94,800. So that's, that's like taking a hundred thousand dollars and just lighting it on fire. I would never do that. I hope you would never do that. And it's crazy because a lot of coaches are suffering with this problem. Like they're, they're in the same boat. Like they are spending way too much on the business. They're not maximizing their groups. Um, and they're a little disorganized with the details. All right. In the last two years, that's caused over two, I mean, about 200 K because his business has been the same the last two years. All right. So when we started working together in January, we had to go in and rewire how this coach thinks. All right. Not, I, I, we didn't work on how can they can be a, a better coach. That's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about how they want to run the business, the ideal way, not in a way where they're scrambling, they're, they're taking money over here, they're trying to do this with it. Um, and so what we did was first, we changed the coach's mindset. And he had a new approach with current clients and flaky clients. So what we did is we introduced the membership model. And I'll show you here on the screen. Let's see here. Uh, let me go back. So in our coaching program, we show coaches in this module right here, we have a script. Uh, we have a very simple way of transitioning any current client into the membership model. So this way you have a seamless process. And so when you make that change, you're confident. And when you make that change, it's done. You don't have like half clients over here doing membership, half clients doing the old thing. It is all done. To where like once you do it, it's done. You never need to do it again because new clients that come in the future, they only know the new way that you're doing it, period. All right. And so what we did here uh, is we went from uh, the per session to where clients had to either pre-commit to three months up front or commit to a three-month contract month to month. Contract, not just, hey, let's pay whenever we want. All right. So we went from random $40 payments to either $160 per customer per month or $400 upfront for quarterly payments. So we gave parents a discount if they paid $400 upfront for three months, but we put them on 90 day subscription. So every 90 days they get billed $400. So the parents that wanted to prepay, they get a little discount, but every month, or sorry, every three months they get billed the 400, all right? So now he's making consistent money. So we solved the financial piece where he was just getting paid one off to now there's more of a commitment, all right? Uh, the next thing that we did is we created a monthly clinic for the 40% of flaky customers who weren't coming at all. So I want you to pretend like you have a customer, but they're not showing up uh, during the month. Now we're getting them to do something, all right? Those clinics that he runs now are producing income. And a lot of the income that he's making from just that one clinic, he's able to flip back and use that on rent. So now his his margin, like he's he's not really coming out of his pocket that much with his rent because he's using the the income from the clinic to cover his rent. All right, so that is saving him a lot of money. All right. Uh, next is we closed down the unused gym time to have less classes, but we started to fill the classes in groups rather than two or three clients showing up. All right. And now that's saving him at minimum fifteen hundred dollars per month because we got rid of the problem where he had too many sessions and he was having to spend too much money. So we're saving $1,500 per month and now we're maximizing those classes. So we've cut his workload. Um, the last time we spoke, I believe we cut his workload from like 30 sessions a week down to, he's like right around eight sessions per week. So he's working way less now, saving way more on 
the rent and way more profitable than he was when he's running way more sessions. So it's not about how many sessions can you run. It's about how can we trim it down and maximize those sessions, All right? Uh, the next thing we did is we scrapped the scheduling system and we made everything contract based. So we, we didn't want some people to schedule, some people just show up. It's set up to when he closes a parent on the contract, it's stating the day and time that they're committing to. So now he's not having to go back and forth say, and asking them when they want to come or have them use this app to sign up to show up to the session. Um, and that honestly, like that was a part-time job for him. He was working four to six or seven hours per week, just scheduling stuff, right? So that went away. Now he has more free time, all right? Uh, then we switched to one centralized payment system. So before we started working together, he had, again, all those different apps, trying to get money, all these different ways. And so now he's not fooling around, all right? He has one way to get paid. If someone doesn't want to do that, then they don't get to work with him. That is his way of doing business now. It's we have one way that we're going to get paid. If you don't pay that way, we aren't going to work with you. A lot of coaches would never do that. They're like, they're just trying to get money however they can. When you do that, you end up losing money. And I, I've tried to explain this on other videos, but when you have too many different ways to get paid, you lose money because you're not going to track all of that. All right. And if you want to be a real business owner, like you have to be smart. Like you have to run it like a business, also save some of that money for taxes. So you're not just scrounging, getting money over here, getting money over here. Got to have one centralized way you get paid, not two. All right. Uh, and the last thing that we did after he started to make the changes and once he had the membership in place, uh, we helped him start to run promotions once per month to upgrade current clients and to higher ticket options and options for lower uh, committed customers to buy camps, clinics, and other one-off opportunities. So this way, every single month, he has, uh, he has the opportunity to make more sales because he's marketing harder to the people that already know, like, and trust him. He's not just waiting for people to take him up on stuff. He's now hunting. All right. And that's, that's what we want. We want you to be a hunter in your area to where you have new promotions new ideas, new things that you're offering, um, not just offering the same thing over and over. Right. Because when you do that, you stand out amongst the, the competitors in your local area that just do the same thing all the time. And, and now in 2023, you got to be different. You got to show up different with your marketing and the promotions has absolutely changed the game for him. Um, and now that's bringing an extra 3K to 10K per month that did not exist before. All right. And 10K, that was like the best promotion that he ran. Normally he averaged between like three and 5K of extra revenue that he was not getting before. And that's per month. All right. And if you're watching this and you're like, man, like I have some of these problems, like reach out to me. All right. And that's, that's what we have here. So if you want to join the fastest growing network of sports academies in the world and get the help, make the changes, um, have the contracts, have the scripts in place, switch over your current clients to, to get more committed and get to six or seven figures with your business, like reach out to me. My number is right here on the screen. Text me right there. I can set up a quick 10 minute call. I can learn more about you, your business and see what you're doing and see, see if we can actually help you or not. All right. So we have that. And we also have uh, copy and paste promotions that we send to you once per month. So if you want to learn more about that, go to the first link in the description, click on that link. There's a page there explains everything. Um, we already have a bunch of coaches that have signed up there. And those are coaches that are going to get done for you promotions that they literally just copy and paste and send to their contacts once per month to drive those types of promotions that we talked about earlier. All right. That's it for this video. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, reach out to me if you want to connect. Can't wait to see you next time.